Now that all the electrical connections are done, it's time to get to the hydraulics. You can see this. This will be the top line going into the green port over there at the third function ports. This is the bottom line. This is the one between the line set to the valve. And they will be attached to the tractor just like that with some clamps in between. I'm going to be putting the first top hard line up from the bottom. You want to make sure that the O-ring is there. And it's going around the oil pan. So it gets right there. These are kind of annoying. Now you don't want to tighten up any of the connections until you get every line plugged up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom in. Alright, that one is started. And for now, we're just hanging out there until I get to the bottom and fix those. Since I couldn't get the camera under the tractor and hold tools at the same time i went ahead and put this together you can see how the lines connect from the uh, front ports to the mid scv right at this point between the oil pan and the tractor frame you can see one of the hardest places to get to there's a pipe clamp there it is that's extremely difficult to put together. Hey, I hope that whoever's watched this video from the start doesn't make the same mistake that I did. On this valve, I originally had the straight plug on the top and the angle in that bottom port there, and that was backwards. So I just had to drop this valve and switch those around. And now I can continue on to getting it put together in the back. When you're installing this kit without the power beyond loop, the instructions are going to be somewhat different than what I'm doing in this video. You would have a line that goes from here, the black one goes down to the SCV, and then a line that comes back to this return port. Since I have the power beyond loop, my line is going to go from here to the loop, from the loop back to the SCV, and then another line to this return port, and then I have to add a line that dumps to the tank. So this gray one I have to remove and put in a line with a T-port on it so that I can dump to the tank. That line, this one, one to the SCV, it's all in the kit. 
The only exception for me is that I have to have a line from the power beyond loop to the SCV. This one, if I can find the numbers on that. There they are. So if you have the PB loop, this is the only line that you actually have to buy. You can buy an entire kit, but that's not very cost effective. Actually, I was wrong again on another one. This is the line from the power beyond to the SCV. Now to give myself more room, I had to take off the four before lever. I'll just put my lever on real quick while I'm here and you can see how close it is to that line. Now this isn't the normal lever. The factory one's in the floor and it points straight out. This one's custom. start the one on the valve. I might be able to do that from the top. Probably not. Now I'm trying to put in the power beyond line return from the SCV. This one has to go through all sorts of little places down in here. So I've got all the plumbing done. I put red tape on the lines that I actually had to change. 
So this one goes down to here. I had to change this tank line so it could have the T plug on it. You follow it down to the middle. And then the one on this end is the power return, I mean power beyond loop. One that goes here is the one on the bottom that has the male plug. Here's the uh, remote control harness. That is the third function harness. When you put that in, make sure that it doesn't get close to that drive shaft. That has a tight space. But as for making all these connections, it's done. I've turned it on and everything cycles as it should and I've been checking for leaks. This is working. Got no connections right now, so when I get the STD, we go going to leak. That's a wrap. Now all I've got to do is put it back together. Now that I've got the uh, tractor put back together, I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I've got the uh, dump and curl of the bucket actually plugged into my mid SCV. So I'm going to hit the gray buttons here to move that. Well, I would call that a success. It looks like it's actually easier to use two functions of the front loader that way. For this entire project, I'd say from start to finish, I spent about six hours. Now, with good instruction, maybe watching this video, I think it could be done at about four. I did have to stop and move the camera a lot, so that was the biggest part of why I spent so much time on it. But other than that, I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.